The CC double bond in alkenes is electron rich. The pi electrons are loosely held and can be attacked by electrophiles. The typical reaction of alkenes is called electrophilic addition, represented here. We have an electrophilic atom that can be attracted to this double bond and both of these components will end up being added to the alkene. Examples of this type of reagents are hydrogen halides, this is sulfuric acid, this is water which requires an acid catalyst, these are halogens, Aside from those, we have several electrophiles other than H+. We can have BH3, BF3, AlCl3, and these cations. The first type of electrophilic addition reaction that I will discuss is hydrohalogenation. It starts from the attack of this double bond to this electrophilic atom, hydrogen. The bond to the halide will break and you will form a carbocation. The pi electrons now form a sigma bond with hydrogen. We also have a halide ion which now can attack this carbocation to form a sigma bond. And so the hydrogen halide is added to the double bond. The first step is usually considered slow. And the second step is fast. Also take note that the alkene here is nucleophilic, but in the second step, this carbocation becomes electrophilic. Because the cleavage of this bond occurs in the slow step, the relative strength of this bond, which is related to the acidity of the molecule, affects the rate of reaction. Acidity decreases from HI to HBr to HCl to HF and in the same way the reactivity of HX and the rate of the reaction. An unsymmetrical alkene can form two possible carbocations and hence two possible products. Propene is unsymmetrical and if hydrogen is added to this double bond, it may attach to different carbons, either here to form this carbocation, or on this carbon to form this carbocation. If chlorine will attack either of these species, then we expect to form a product where the chlorine atom is attached to the middle carbon and another product where the chlorine atom is attached to the terminal carbon. Then you may ask, is there a preference between these two products? For the two possible products, there may be two different routes. One route may have lower energy of activation, another can have higher energy of activation. By Hammond's postulate, the more stable carbocation leads to lower energy of activation and a faster reaction. How do we determine which is the more stable carbocation? If a reaction were to occur, there is a higher chance for this route to be taken because it has lower energy of activation. Hence, the carbocation formed here must have lower energy. At the second step of this process, the halide ion will attack this carbocation and start forming a bond to give you the product. As is common with this type of reactions, the energy of the product is lower than the energy of the reactant. This is because in the reactants, you have a pi bond which is weaker and a sigma bond that is later broken. 
a product contains only sigma bonds. Sigma bonds are stronger bonds, and stronger bonds correspond to more stable compounds. As you already know, a carbocation of higher stability is preferentially formed as intermediate. Carbocation is sp2 hybridized. It has a trigonal planar arrangement, and it contains a p orbital that is empty. Right next to this p orbital is a sigma bond, and this sigma bond may be aligned in such a way that it can interact with this empty p orbital and help in its stabilization. Thus, we have a phenomenon called hyperconjugation. Hyperconjugation stabilizes the carbocation by donation of electrons from an adjacent CH or CC sigma bond into the empty p orbital. This type of donation stabilizes the carbocation intermediate. More substitution provides more opportunity for hyperconjugation. If we are to compare these two species, there are several ways for hyperconjugation to occur in this secondary carbocation. Several sigma bonds are available for electron donation. Compared to this carbocation, we have very few sigma bonds. So this carbocation should be more stable than this carbocation. Carbocations can also be stabilized by resonance. For example, if a double bond is right next to the carbocation, then it will be more stable if there are no double bonds right next to that positively charged carbon. A lone pair from an atom right next to this carbocation can also stabilize this species. And so, hydrohalogenation is considered regioselective. We consider a reaction as regioselective if one direction of bond making or bond breaking occurs preferentially over all possible directions. And for such reaction, where there are two possible routes, there will be a route which will dominate because it has lower energy of activation. This compound here will be the major product. To generalize, relative stability of carbocations follows this order. Tertiary is more stable than secondary, which is more stable than primary, which is more stable than the methyl carbocation. The regioselective behavior of hydrohalogenation was observed by Marconico, for which he formulated his rule. In the modern sense, it states that in the heterolytic addition of a polar molecule to an alkene or alkyne, the more electronegative atom or part of the polar molecule becomes attached to the carbon atom bearing the smaller number of hydrogen atoms. What it means for hydrohalogenation is that in a double bond, the carbon with the smaller number of hydrogen atoms, which is this carbon, becomes attached to the more electronegative part of the molecule being added. Cl is more electronegative than hydrogen, and so it will be attached to this carbon. Hydrogen will be attached to this carbon to form this compound as the major product. Another statement of the Markovnikov's rule is that the hydrogen atom of the molecule that is added becomes attached to the carbon which has more hydrogen atoms. If there are no hydrogen in the added molecule, again the more electronegative atom becomes attached to the carbon that has lower number of hydrogens. 
So we have here chlorine attached to the central carbon and iodine attached to the terminal carbon. The products formed under similar selectivity are called marconical products. These two compounds are marconical products. In reactions that form carbocations, rearrangements may occur if the structure permits to give a stable carbocation. For example, if HBr is added to this molecule, in the first step, this double bond will take this proton, and this hydrogen will be expected to be added to this carbon to form this secondary carbocation. Given that the sigma bonds right next to this carbon can interact with a p orbital present here, this hydrogen may transfer to this carbon. This transfer will enable the formation of the more stable tertiary carbocation. If these two species were to react with the bromide, you can have two possible products, but this one coming from a tertiary carbocation will be the major product. It is not only the bond to hydrogen that may transfer. The bond to carbon can also transfer in case a carbocation forms here. So when the double bond attacks this hydrogen, the carbocation will be secondary and it, this is adjacent bond to carbon can transfer to form a carbocation at this carbon, which is subsequently attacked by the bromide ion, which forms this compound as the major product.